Okay, uh, so let's first recall how we see objects. And I can tell you that there are only two approaches. First, there's reflection. So uh, let's say uh, if we illuminate an object, the, re the reflected light will reach our eyes and allow us to see it. Okay, this is now the method you are using to see me on stage. But I can tell you there's another way. If we illuminate an object, there's always a shadow behind this object. So uh, this is the, okay. Even if we cannot see the object, we can always see the shadow. This is now the method you can see me on the stage here. This is also the method, if you can recall, this is also the method that is used in 1999 by Yugoslavia's to bring down an F-117 stealth aircraft using a specially designed radar system to detect its shadow. So, so a trivial solution, of course, is to remove this object from illumination. But what if we want this object to stay there but merely be invisible? Over the past decades, people have developed critical technologies that can, be, that can allow us to remove the reflection from this object. The principle is to absorb the instant light from the reflected light, from the reflected object, such that you can kill the reflection. Therefore, you can become invisible. But the problem is, it is pretty cool. It is pretty cool, but the problem is, you haven't solved the shadow problem. So you still have this shadow, which remains detectable. So this has remained to be the weakness that has been fatal to the, to the uh, stealth technologies. So uh, can we... Sorry. So true invisibility cannot be achieved unless we can find a way to recover the shadow as if the object were not there. But how to? Imagine we can bend the light around this object as if in the same way as water streams around this object. Then an external observer will be able to see through this object as if the object were not there. But how to bend the light? Imagine we have a finite volume space in front of us and then we lift up the bottom of this space to squeeze it, then the light will be bent together with the squeeze space without disturbing the outside environment. And during the whole process, the optical path is always preserved. Therefore, anything we put inside this bump under this squeeze space will be invisible because from the viewpoint of the light, that bump doesn't exist. And I have found that we can actually use calcite to mimic this squeeze space and then, and then build invisibility cloaks. Calcite is a cheap and abundant mineral made of calcium carbonate. It's most commonly found as stalactite and stalagmite in limestone caves. Here, we have built a simple prototype of uh, invisibility cloak using just two pieces of calcite, very simple. And here, we're going to uh, use it to cloak a piece of post-it note, this pink object, which is rolled up to fit under this cloak. So you can see that this is how it works. I'm going to move this cloak to cover the middle part of this pink object. And you can see that the covered part, you can see that the covered part becomes transparent. You can see through directly. And even, even a scientific instrument that can measure the optical path cannot detect it. I need to emphasize that here we still have a lot of limitations. First of all, this can be done in laser oil. So you can see this is oil here. But still, this is the first, uh, this is the first realization of invisibility at the macro scale, which you can see with your, with, with your eyes. And uh, many people ask me why I'm doing this research. I'm doing this as a way to explore better light control strategies, which is very useful in imaging, in uh, communication, data processing, and defense. If we can control light at will, eventually we can have the power to let there be light. This is our vision. Thank you very much.